Hey guys, what is up? This is Matthew Davis, me once again. Welcome back to another monthly vlog. Um, to start things off, Dune Part 2 was absolutely amazing. I loved almost every second of it. I just posted my review. So yeah, to start off the morning, I'm going to be playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, here's the thing. This didn't come in the mail like I was anticipating. I actually got this from GameStop. I had a $50 gift card, so basically I got this for 24 bucks. The reason why is because they, um, for some reason, they delayed my delivery. So I canceled that order. I went to GameStop. They had the game, so I just decided to get the game from there. So, yeah. Once I get my refund, um, because, um, it takes in with, it, I don't get the money back immediately, obviously, but, yeah. Anyways, um, I'm really looking forward to playing this, though. Here's the thing. It requires 160 gigabytes of data space. That's like a quarter, probably even more than a quarter of how much data is on a PS5. <sighs> so, yeah, just... But, hey, I'm sure the game's going to be amazing, and it's already it's already downloaded and stuff, so all you got to do is start it up and get to playing. Alright, so yesterday I got the rest of my stuff, so now it's, I, uh, I don't have to go back there anymore, so, yeah, um, also on the way over there, uh, where is it, uh, here it is. I also went to Walmart, we got we got a few things, and I just randomly decided to get Wonka on 4K because, well, you know, not many, not many places are uh, selling physical media anymore. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't really need to get this immediately, but then again, it's only going to be there like once. But also, I really enjoyed the movie, so I figured why not, so. Yeah, I'm going to try playing more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth before I have to go to work, go into work, so. I'm out on another rain walk. There's a lot of water going down into the sewer. I'm just waiting for Pennywise to jump out at me. <laughs> yeah, good thing I don't have a boat. And if I did, and if he got it, yeah, I would just get the hell away. You would probably say something like, Hiya, Mippy! If you don't know, Mippy was... Uh, my original name. It's a long story, I'd rather not talk about that era. Hey, why didn't anyone tell me that Monkey D. Luffy was in this game? Heh. <laughs> Babies. They just like to watch me play. Thank you. So yesterday, um, I saw a new Demon Slayer movie, which really wasn't much of a movie rather than a recap of the last episode and a sneak preview of the next episode, just like the last movie. So I didn't really have to see it, but I I, I did because I had spare time. And uh, yeah, like I said before, I just I don't want to rush this game, despite the fact that I'm going to be out of town um, this upcoming week. And then the week after, I'm going to be busy with GalaxyCon. Hopefully I can try to get at least the main story finished before I have to go to GalaxyCon. Also, this is just completely random, but there have just been a bunch of memes on a, on a very, very tragic event. Well, not so tragic as just due to the fact that it was pretty much a scam. It's this whole... Hold on. I'm gonna, it's this whole Willy Wonka event that, that happened that was supposed to be like this magical event. But apparently it was just... It was pretty much a scam. 40 bucks to go to a empty warehouse filled with very little decorations and a uh, and a woman dressed as an Oopaloopa that honestly looks more like she would be in a meth lab and <laughs> apparently they're comparing it to the Krabby Land episode from SpongeBob how Mr. Krabby it's it's pretty much like if you get Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory from Wish, pretty much, or any of those scam websites. And, yeah, it it caused major outrage, and, you know, <laughs> 850 people tried to attend. But, you know, with the amount of text, spelling errors, all, all that, it was just, <laughs> I've just been looking at so many, it's actually really funny, I mean... 
I mean, if I did pay for something like that, then yeah, it wouldn't be funny. So I am sorry to all those people. Hopefully they did manage to get their money back. But oh my god. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> just, I don't know what else I could compare it to. Just, it just, well, at least no, at least no kids nearly got killed. You know, just like in the movie. <laughs> But you know what? It's probably a. F it might even be a fate worse than death. Just going to a forty dollar scam. Just <laughs> I don't know. I just find it hilarious. Oh yeah. Also, <laughs> the unknown into the unknown. <laughs> what was that? Also, yes, it, the mattress behind me is. Well, I'm laying on it. Well, it's just due to the fact that. I've been playing Final Fantasy VII. I might, if I'm gonna play the game, I might as well get more comfortable and actually be closer to the TV rather than just being up here. Which is one one thing I will say about my old place that I liked better, but things will change. What the hell is that? Is that Mr. Satan from Dragon Ball? Like, <laughs> what is with these? <laughs> like, are they just? Taken from anime now? I I don't know. It's. <laughs> I was honestly not expecting Kate Sith to sound like that. I honestly thought it would be more high pitched, you know, like Morgana, or I don't know. That's not what I predicted at all. <laughs> So yeah, I, I just got a haircut. I'm going to be uh, going to my dad's place this weekend because we're going to be watching the Oscars like we usually do almost every year. So yeah, he's going to be picking me up in a couple hours. He was going to pick me up tomorrow, but he decided to get me early. So yeah, looking forward to it. All right, well, I'm at my dad's place. Um, we're going to be seeing Imaginary and Kung Fu Panda 4. Um, one of them we're going to see Saturday and one of them we're going to see Sunday. Um, so yeah. Because I'm over here, that means I had to take a break from uh, playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Not. I bought my PS5 with me. Though I am going to have to take a break when, when we watch the Oscars. But for now, I might be able to finish this up uh, over here, but still, I want to take my time with this one. So unfortunately... Uh... It has been uh, revealed that Akira Toriyama, uh, the creator of Dragon Ball, recently passed away. Rest in peace. And, uh, yeah. Dragon Ball was one of the first, truly one of the first anime to really just get me into, you know, anime in general. Just, uh, well, technically he did the manga, just, um, but it's, the anime is, uh, we, we mostly know Dragon Ball for the anime, so, but either way, rest in peace, um, but on the bright side, it's National Women's Day, so, yeah, it's, must be good to be a woman today, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, 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 that came off as a little weird, but just, yeah. Time to show off some Gwacy. Hey, Gwacy. It's Twitch and Winnie. Twitch and Winnie. Uh -oh. Just hanging out. You right? You do shake it out. Cats and dogs living together at mass hysteria. So we just went and saw Kung Fu Panda 4. Um, it was fine. It was definitely unnecessary. But for what it was, it, it it's harmless enough. But, yeah. Anyways, we're going to be seeing uh, Imaginary now. Funny thing, we're actually seeing this at a different theater. We just 
got back from seeing Kung Fu Panda 4 at a different theater. It's a long story, but I, sh I should also mention that the theater was pretty much full. We we went to a showing that was almost sold out. There were probably like two seats left. Um, it was so packed that we actually had to set up in the front. So, I mean, we could still see it fine. If it was in 3D, that would be a whole nother story. So, yeah, but we didn't. Well, the shirt's not wrong. So, apparently it's Mario Day today, and I'm celebrating by continuing more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> well, we're also going to be heading out to the mall, also tonight's the Oscars, so... Yeah, I do have my expectations pretty low. Um, especially given how, how good the last ceremony was, but... Yeah, um... We're going to get back a little early because I want to, um, from the mall because, um, we're going to eat and then I want to exercise because the Oscars are at 7 instead of 8. Also, it's daylight savings, so, um, yeah, I should, though well, that's not, is that important? But, I mean, I, I lost now, we lost an hour of sleep, but, yeah. Um, but they did announce that the Mar the second Mario movie has been announced and, um, it should be coming out in 2026, so, yeah. Looking forward to see how, seeing how that turns out. Alright, Oppenheimer won Best Picture. Uh, another uh, number one favorite uh, of the year uh, on my list wins Best Picture. Uh, last last year was everything, everywhere, all at once. And I'm really happy to find out that Boy and Heron actually won Best Animated Film, beating out Spider-Man. And as much as I loved Spider-Man, I truly think Boy and the Heron really deserves it. It's nice to know that, uh, you know, more uh, studios that aren't, like, uh, super big-name ones, like, you know, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio won last year and this year, uh, Boy and the Heron beating out, uh, you know, big major animated films, like, from Disney and all that. But, yeah, I mean, it's obvious El Elemental wasn't going to win, so, uh, yeah, but... I was actually kind of surprised that Emma Stone won Best Actress, um, because, you know, most people were rooting for Lily Gladstone, but hey, despite the fact, you know, Emma Stone, good for her, she, she was great in that movie, so, yeah, I mean, Frances McDormand won two Academy Awards, so it's nice to know that, you know, that Robert Downey Jr. winning Best a uh, Supporting Actor, epic win for that, I'm so glad Doolittle did not destroy his career, because, uh, if he did, he wouldn't have won an Oscar, so, yeah, but, yeah, I was pretty satisfied with that one scene where John Cena was naked at the ceremony, was he actually, was he not just wearing under, underwear underneath that, because it, <laughs> that would probably be more disturbing to see than what happened in the 2022 Oscars, but still, I was pretty satisfied by the end. Oh, God, this is the recreated moment I was not ready for. If you saw when I was playing Final Fantasy VII, the original, uh, yeah, I mentioned the most heartbreaking scene in the game, or got to the most heartbreaking scene in the game. And now I think it's about to happen again, but with better graphics and more cinematic lifelight. Well, you know what I mean. I almost forgot to mention Ryan Gosling's performance. He pretty much stole the entire show. Anyway, I did finish up Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth. Um, definitely one of the best of the year so far in terms of gaming. And we were off to a pretty good start this year, but now um, that's going to go downhill a little bit for my experience because I'm about to try out Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. I, I didn't buy it. I'm renting it from Gamefly, so yeah. Dodged a bullet on that one. So I've been playing for about less than an hour and the game crashes and now it's taken like over a minute just for... Uh... Like... Uh, oh! Okay! Okay! Huh. Yeah, if you just want to take longer and just not make me want to play better games, you know what? Yeah, it was just telling me that it is so not worth it. Like, 
the opening just dragged on way too long, and even the combat, I feel like it's going to get super repetitive the more I even play it. So, yeah, just not going to do it. Nope. I actually haven't finished everything that Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth had to offer, so, yeah, I think I'm just going to go do that. Actually, as I was playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I actually wanted to get more into the older Final Fantasy games, so... I'm trying out Final Fantasy VI, this is the Pixel Remaster, and yeah, I have a feeling I'm really going to enjoy this. Hey, who is that handsome boy? Who is that handsome boy? You did, ain't you? Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be a big weekend. Cause Galaxy Con is back. And you bet your ass I'm gonna be going to it. Um, but I want to look as good into my costume as possible, so I need as much energy as possible to work out, so I'm going to have me a quick snack, then work out some more. It's a protein bar. It's uh, cookie flavor, only 150 calories, so that's not bad. You know, it's not bad. Honestly, I don't have to keep doing, like, cardio exercise because uh, most of my body, in terms of all that body fat that I have, it's just, most of it is just skin now. Like, there's, like, nothing inside of it. So, yeah, but from what I know of, it will go down just, but, you know, just in case, I do get anxiety a lot. So, you know what, I'm still going to be working out, even though I did have to go to the doctor because I, I, uh, didn't have a whole lot of energy because of um, the fact that I haven't been eating as much, so I'm still eating as much as possible. Still nutritional stuff. Like, I don't really, I'm not going to any fast food places or drinking any sodas. Like, I, I really tend to be careful. Well, Galaxy Con starts this weekend, and I have something to report. I have reached my weight loss goal. I am at 177 pounds, so... I started back in August, I was 279, so in total I lost 102 pounds, and I might make a video just uh, explaining my whole journey that I went on, but yeah, I don't have to exercise as much anymore, so um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the skin to go down, which does take a while, but I cannot believe how far I've come, so yeah, this is staying off for good. All right. I am all set and ready to go for GalaxyCon. I got the three-day pass, so I'm going to be going uh, today, tomorrow, maybe Sunday. I don't have to go Sunday, but yeah, I also got VIP, so it will be easier for me to get past the lines uh, because I have a friend with me who doesn't really uh, want, who doesn't really, who, ah, whatever. The, the point is, um, hopefully it will be quicker for me to... We're probably not going to get everything done today, which is why we got the three-day weekend. And yes, I'm I'm having a friend uh, come with me. And yes, I'm uh, I'm filming in my mom's room because this was the best area I could find in order for me to show off my full view. So, yeah, there's the Sheikah slate. The yeah, I had to the belts were kind of a challenge because they don't have like a little loop in order for me to like go around it. And that Sheikah slate is coming off, but. I'll probably be standing up a lot and, uh, yeah, throughout, but, yeah, I'm surprised how well this fits. Um, if only the skin wasn't here, but, hey, it fits. Okay, that, that might be a problem, but. Yeah, Alright, I also got sword and shield, which I'm, <laughs> stupid. Okay, I'm, I'm probably not going to use this till maybe tomorrow. Because I want to get as much stuff as I possibly can, or or at least what I find, I'm probably going to get like a like a plastic weapon or something, and uh, yeah, but 
Yeah, Astro's here, so like, who is this person? Hey, I'm paying a dog, which is something Link never did in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom. So, here, here's your wish. Yeah, just watch me pet the dog instead of attempting to do that in Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom, because you couldn't do that. What was I talking about? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'll have a backpack with me, so I'll make things a bit easier. Who knows who I'm going to meet today or tomorrow. All right, since I'm going to be out quite a bit, I'm going to need some energy. Uh, these belts are probably going to annoy me a lot. But whatever. Mm. Yep. It's a nutritional, a nutritional snack. Nutrition bar. I washed down with some Gatorade. Link uses food for health in Breath of the Wild, so it makes sense. Alright, so I'm at, I'm at Galaxy Con right now. I just got an autograph from Troy Baker uh, from The Last of Us. Not only that, I also got... He was going to do a recording, but I don't have a voice app. So, he did the next best thing. He gave me a video. Goosebumps, man. Now, I'm going to go up and meet him. I honestly could have waited until tomorrow to meet him, but I just want to get the, the stuff I'm most excited for out of the way first. I also want to try meeting North, Nolan North, so... Yeah. Well, today was really satisfying. Not only did I meet Troy Baker, I also met Nolan North. You know, from the Uncharted games and a bunch of other games. The Deadpool game and many others, so... Yeah, but we're going to be going back tomorrow. We're going to be there a little bit later... Just due to that, that we're going to be looking at the cosplay uh, competition or whatever. We're just going to be watching that because there have been some really cool cosplayers. So, yeah, it's going to be really exciting. I'm definitely going to be needing some of this for when uh, I go to GalaxyCon today. Here's the thing, though. I'm going to be going as someone else because I need to wash my costume. Because I've been sweating in it quite a bit. I had to hand wash it, but... I was planning on going with somebody else anyway. Who, you might be asking? Well, obviously I wasn't going to leave that out of the vlog, so you'll see. Yeah, that's right. I'm dressed as Bandit Healer. I know, but there have been a lot of Blue's Clues cosplayers because the stars of Blue's Clues are here, so... Yeah. I'm proud of it. Plus I got the bluey, uh, like, the, the plush toy backpack, so... Yeah. So I'm still at the convention. Uh, I cannot tell you how many times people have asked uh, for me to take photos with them. So yeah, it's nice to know that there are tons of Bluey fans here. So many people have recognized me. More than uh, more people have asked me to take pictures. That's uh, like you know, but it's it's good to know. I'm, I'm taking a breather, but I got to meet four more people today. I met Sunny Straight, who plays Krillin from Dragon Ball. Um, 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 Usopp from uh, uh, One Piece and uh, uh, Coral Sensei from uh, Assassination Classroom. I also got to meet up with uh, Ron Perlman who plays Hellboy, the original Hellboy. Uh, uh, Justin uh, Justin Reiner from uh, who plays uh, Deku or Izuku Midoriya from, uh, from My Hero and uh, Steve Burns better known as Steve from Blue's Clues. The trio came, but I, I, I saw Steve because he's the original. No, no disrespect to the other two, but yeah, it, it, it just feels so weird watching, um, knowing that I met a guy who I used to watch a lot as a four-year-old, so yeah. Needless to say, I this is probably the most fun I've had in, Gal in GalaxyCon yet. You've been having fun too, right? Yep. That's my girl. So I'm not even kidding right now. Someone actually just gave me this lollipop because I was dressed as a bluey bandit or whatever. Hey, I'm not judging. I really hope there's no drugs in this. No, it's legit. It's St. Patty's Day today. Um, so yeah, I could go to GalaxyCon a third day because I got the three-day pass. Well, technically, I got it because I got the VIP, but 
I think I'm I think I pretty much did everything I wanted to do over there. So yeah, until next year. But uh yeah, with what happened this year, I am really sad. I can definitely say that it will definitely be worth the yearly wait again. Like it usually is. Now I'm gonna be headed out. I'd better bring my Demon Slayer jacket because I do not want to get pinched today. Sorry, I'm I'm counting how many days it's been since the con. It was three days ago. Anyway, I think by next week I will have a date of when I'm going to be moving into my new place. So, it's been over six weeks since I moved out. So, yeah, and I was expected to move out probably in April. Which, as far as I know, that's still going to happen. Probably not at the very beginning of April because, you know, I don't want to get my hopes up if, uh, well, you get the picture. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, I'll just... There was actually a movie that came out called Love Lies Bleeding that's supposed to be really, really good. I actually might catch that tomorrow uh, before seeing Ghostbusters on Thursday. So, yeah. So I'm about to head out to see Love Lies Bleeding. It's directed by Rose Glass, who directed Saint Maud, which was fantastic. So, yeah, it's good that I'm seeing this. I also got this uh, Adventure Time uh, button-up shirt uh, a couple days ago. It looked really cool. I wanted to get more adventure. I'm, I'm glad they're putting out more Adventure Time themed stuff because it's gotten. Has it gotten bigger? I mean, I know there there was the Fiona and Cake show that came out last year, but. Uh, yeah, I feel like uh, because of how popular it is, like I've seen multiple cosplays at GalaxyCon, but yeah, that's the case. I'm glad. Okay, I cannot tell you how good Love Lights Bleeding was. Um, so yeah, it's the next day and I'm going out to see Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Apparently there's also a new horror film coming out called uh, Late Night with the Devil. I actually never heard of it, but it's supposed to be really good. And you know what, if I'm going to see Pooh Blend Honey 2 next week, then I'm probably going to have to see that as well. So, I might wait till... Actually, I might see that before Blend Honey 2. Uh, I don't I don't know, because I have more time, but yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah, time to answer the call again. They already have this big advertisement for the new Garfield movie. Response to Garfield, wait. Prefer not to answer, do not approach with helpless on you, do not chase, he will not run. <laughs> um, but wouldn't that be easier for him to get last seen on the couch? Cat and I may bite with. <laughs> okay, that's good. Even if the movie isn't good, that <laughs> those are actually some good. Just also, why would he prefer not to answer his weight? He would still be lighter than most human beings. So yeah, I wasn't really a massive fan of uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife, um, though I saw that a couple days ago. I actually just saw the theatrical Pixar event of uh, Luca. So yeah, now I have I have seen all three uh, Disney Plus exclusive uh, or Disney Plus originally. You know what I mean at this point, but yeah, yeah, I'll probably see uh, Late Night with the Devil maybe Monday or Tuesday. Or wait, Tuesday I'm seeing Blood and Honey too, but... So yeah, maybe Monday, I don't know. Monday is a special day because uh, I'll probably find out what the date of uh, me going to my uh, next place will be. So yeah, almost there. Also, I did get popcorn. Usually when I finish, usually I'll finish popcorn, like, like instantly finish up with popcorn, but that was before I started losing weight and I haven't even finished half of it. So yeah, my mom usually likes to hog all the popcorn and finish it like halfway through the movie, so yeah, that's an achievement. I, it was always hard for me to not finish the popcorn, but I did. And this is a small, too. Usually, if I had a large, I would just, uh, yeah, but things have changed with my weight. So today was super busy because I had to fill out a lot of paperwork for me to finally... Uh, get my new apartment. It, uh, um, yeah, I am this, this close, this close to confirming a date for when I'm going to be moving into my next place, okay? I got all the paperwork filled out, um, we know exactly, also, I paid to, 
um, keep a, keep an apartment on hold. But they should. They did say that it will be ready. Actually, it is ready. But um, I would be able to move in in like the next two weeks. So I don't have a. I don't have. I don't confirm. I haven't confirmed a date yet. But we should know by tomorrow or the day after. In the meantime, I gotta get prepared. I gotta put on my finest tuxedo for tomorrow night to see the upcoming cinematic masterpiece sequel that's going to be coming out to another epic masterpiece. I I know, Dune 2 is already out, but nope, a much bigger one. One that is probably the most genius idea for a horror movie ever. And of course, that's why it got a sequel of Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. That should the first movie should have swept every Oscar. Like the fact that it won Razzies is just it's just cruel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, man, I honestly can't wait for it. I know it's going to be awful. I know it's going to be horrendous. Probably even worse than the first. But I I'm I am so looking forward to that. I already have a skit for my video made. So yeah. This is entirely pointless. I'm kind of just doing this as a gag at this point, even though it serves no purpose. But I guess it's just to show how much healthier I've gotten. Though I need to be, though I wouldn't say I'm fully healthy because I still need to be eating more. And I'm still kind of afraid to eat more because, uh, because I've come this far and I don't want to gain all the weight back again like I did before in the past. Like I lost it, then I gained it all back, so... I don't know. Okay, I know I'm in the exact same spot, but it is the next day. Um, but yeah, to prove it, this is a different Celsius. <laughs> well, that doesn't really prove anything. I just got other. But anyways, as far as I know, I will be moving into my new place on April 5th. So all that stuff that's in uh, those storage bins won't have to be in there much longer. Anyways, tonight I am seeing Pooh, Blood, and Honey 2. And believe it or not, I actually did just rewatch the first one. Uh, yes. I don't know why I did. Uh, well, I did just to get a glimpse of because Pooh looks different. But honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. I know, well, I actually... Um, the start of the reviews for it coming in, people have been kind of nice on it. That might change because Rotten Tomatoes only has six reviews and they're all positive so far. But yeah, that's probably going to change. We'll, we'll just have to see. But, you know, it might be better than the first. Because the first, it's so boring when those, char when those characters that aren't Pooh or Piglet are on screen. And yes, it is horrible. But when Pooh is on screen, that's when I get a good laugh out of it. Because the fact is, it's really not trying to be like intentionally funny but it is like yeah oh yeah also i rewatch no 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 not rewatch i watched that new mega mind sequel and that was just awful that was i'd rather watch poop blood and honey five more times <laughs> because what was even the point of making that i never thought there would be a dreamworks movie worse than shark tale but they proved me wrong. Just make the animation look like it was on completely low budget. Make uh, make the story as cliched as it possibly could. And uh, boom. Garbage. So, yeah. And there's a TV show. But ha, I'm not going to watch that. No. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That, that actually wasn't too bad. Um, is it a masterpiece? Absolutely not. But... I feel like they did do some things that really improve it from the first film. Um, it definitely does get cheesy quite a bit, but you know what? I, I, I had fun with it in a good, fun kind of way, not like in a laughably bad kind of way. Because while the movie still is kind of too serious, it's it wasn't bad. I'm honestly curious to see where this whole universe goes. So I'm about to see Late Night uh, with the Devil. Um, there's nobody else here yet. Um, 
Oh, actually, someone's coming in right now, so never mind. But yeah, really looking forward to this one. So yeah, although I actually haven't seen a trailer yet, just uh, well, <laughs> I, I I don't know. Just I know very little about this movie, though. I assume it's gonna be like I don't know. I'll I'm I'll mention it. I'm obviously gonna mention more when I do the review of it. Banana show. Okay, this week is going to be really big. Hopefully when I move to my new place, I won't have to do it that much. Because I'm not going to bring all my cats with me. I am going to bring this boy with me, though. See? You excited? Yeah, I'm going to... I have a lot of stuff to pack because not only am I bringing my stuff from my apartment that's already in the bins, but... I have to bring, like, these posters with me, though I'm probably not going to hang them up. I'm probably just going to... I need, like, a bunch of rubber bands, um, so... Yeah, I, I need to bring as much stuff with me as possible, because my sister is going to be moving back in, and... Um... Well, that's all I'm really going to say, so... Yeah, but... I just have... I, I honestly want to start getting packed now... But I don't really have the the right amount of stuff because not only can I bring my stuff, I also need to get new stuff. I need to get like uh, like uh, you know food utensils and uh, and new furniture, new furnishings and or furniture, excuse me. Yeah, I'm just gonna be very busy. Um, and uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna see Godzilla and Kong until like um, until like April April second. Um, because tomorrow we're doing an Easter egg hunt over, um, where my dad lives. And, uh, so yeah, we're probably gonna start, uh, like, getting all this stuff in, probably. I kind of wanted to try getting some, like, today, because we're gonna be heading out to dinner tonight. And, um, but we're gonna need, like, a lot of, we're gonna need, like, a lot of shelves and bookcases and stuff. Because there's a lot I'm gonna do, uh, with the second room, which you will see in my next monthly vlog. Or when I do do my next tour video of my new place. Alright, so uh, it's Easter Eve. And uh, we uh, went all the way up to North Carolina for a family Easter egg hunt. I got some goodies and uh, a lot of it was candy. Um, I usually cut candy out of my diet. But because I lost so much weight, I managed to treat myself a little bit. Because I can do that once in a while. Actually, while I was over there, it's like a big farm field. Like uh, there's a big open area. And they actually were doing target practice over in the woods, and I got to join them, and I actually got to fire my first real gun. Um, my sister was actually able to film it on video. I, I'm not really going to show it, because I don't know if that... Because obviously I was shooting targets, so uh, I don't know what the policy is for, because... <laughs> yeah, but I guess it's one of those times where... Well, I'm, I shouldn't really get into all that because, well, alright, well, tomorrow's Easter, which means it will be the end of the vlog, and I pretty much got quite a bit done this month, and there will be more stuff to come for me uh, next next month. Alright, it's time to wrap up uh, this month's vlog. Happy Easter. Um, We're going to go furniture shopping, as hopefully there will be some stores that are open because, you know, it's Easter, and... <laughs> But yeah, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I want to I want to do something else because you know it's Easter. But I don't know. It's usually one of those times where I just want to get the video out as soon as possible, so I won't forget. And I'll get the editing done for the next day, though the next day is April Fool's Day. But <laughs> you know, um, I I don't really have anything planned for April Fool's Day. I'm 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 serious because. I'm going to be very focused on uh, getting my apartment straight because I'll be moving in this Friday. So, yeah, I mean, I haven't seen Godzilla and Kong yet, but I will. So, yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.